We want to welcome you to Revival Fires TV, and today we've got Dave Carr with us from Solihull Renewal Centre. Great to be with you. And he's just been over at our leadership conference here, and he is just a leader who it's fun to be around. Really? And yeah. <laughs> People laugh at me and they say, am I funny? They said, no, it's just your face. BBC, the Daily Express did my life story once and they said, if you sat opposite this man in a carriage on a train, <laughs> would you know what lay behind his much lived in face? <laughs> and I thought, that's nice. And I thought, much lived in? I thought, that must have been on war out. <laughs> I'm in bits. But apart from that, hello everybody. Nice to be there, uh, or there, and here. <laughs> it's good to be wherever I am at my age. But in all that aside, <laughs> well, we'll try. All right. Um, you've been speaking this morning about the supernatural, which mm. I found was just so thrilling, just to hear just your thoughts on that. And Because you know, so often we're, try we're natural, we're trying to become supernatural. Yes. But just explain some of those things of just being supernatural. Well, well, the Christian message is one of creation. It's God creating man in his image. And of course, God is a spirit. And so when, if we are to take the creation story over evolution, God created everything in its original state perfect. Man had no knowledge of death. He had no knowledge of sickness or of confusion because he walked with God every day. And so what we call supernatural today, and super means above the norm, was the normal. So God didn't have a supernatural. His natural was super. When man broke off from God, disconnected from God, they lost the spiritual concept of God and so turned to the cognitive. And especially in the Western world where we're very much based in Greek philosophy, mm -hmm. uh, everything's based on reason, rhyme, reason, uh, percentages and so now our acceptance of something is the baseline is is it logical now the Bible says the foolishness of God is greater than the wisdom of man so the gap now between what God calls normal and we call normal is widening all the time because mm. when somebody's sick and they've tried the logical course yeah. nothing wrong with that the doctors and the hospitals they then come to church saying what about the supernatural now, if we are, as churches, not living in God's natural, yeah. which is everybody else's supernatural, uh, we can only give them a heightened form of natural with compassion, mm. which in itself can't be bad. Yeah. But if we're not used to living in the supernatural, and that doesn't become natural, um, we flow in and out of it. Mm. And I'll be sharing a bit later that some Sundays, some Tuesdays, some Mondays, wherever we are, we find it very hard to step from the natural into the supernatural. Yeah. Other days, it just comes so easily. And it's finding how we can enter the supernatural and stay there. Paul said, I'm not sure if the natural came, uh, if the natural went up or the supernatural came down, but I do know that I was in the presence of God in that third heaven. And John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Yeah. So they experienced moving from the natural which man determines yeah. into the supernatural that God determines.